Hello everyone, Triple S back here with more Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator and here I've set up a massive battle of all the animals. A thousand apiece. Look at how big the T-Rex's space has to be for a thousand. Let's just see who wins. I think we all can probably guess who's going to win. Ooh, if I can stop burping and hiccup hiccuping. But let's see if someone could pull it out. Maybe the kangaroos. Probably going to be able to pull it out. It just depends how many T-Rexes get killed by the other animals. Loading in all the units. Mostly sunny with some sun. This game has been updated as well for like player kills and stuff. Okay, and you can now press any key to play. You don't have to press to get in the battle. And then, okay, so there's the tortoises, there's the, is that the chickens or is that the penguins? That's probably the penguins. And then we've got the kangaroos over there. And then we got chickens here. Well, those are kangaroos. These are the T-Rexes. I think I was calling the T-Rexes kangaroos then. Look at how many they are. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. Let's see who wins. <laughs> and the penguins are going to get massacred. Some of the penguins are going to have the chickens. Or the tortoises, I mean. Tortoises are slowly making their way. All of the chickens are engaged with the kangaroos though. Some of the kangaroos are broken off to fight the T-Rexes up there, but most of the all the chickens are facing the kangaroos and just getting absolutely destroyed. Oh! Oh! Here come. Okay. Okay, all the chickens are almost dead. The kangaroos are taking some of the T-Rexes down. Tortoises are still trying to make their way over there. And these tortoises are taking on the rest of these penguins. And eventually all these penguins are going to die. They have. And now the penguins are going to get attacked in the rear. And then the tortoises are going to have to deal with T-Rexes. These tortoises are still trying to make their way over here. All the kangaroos are probably going to be dead before they even get over here. Kangaroos are taking down a fair few T-Rexes. Oh, and there's the first T-Rex going after from the tortoises. Ah, the tortoises are going to die. And over here the tortoises are getting eaten as well. Come on, your hard shell should protect you. Your hard shell should protect you. Oh. Oh, those tortoises are dead over there. It's just a case. And... T-Rexes are victorious. How many? T-Rexes lost 10. The kangaroos killed 1,010, so I'm guessing that 10 is the 10 T-Rexes that the kangaroos killed. They also killed 1,000. I'm going to assume pink. The chickens. Was it not? Well, some people kill some people. But T-Rex is owned. And they only lost 10 of their number. Okay. Let's set up another scenario involving the T-Rexes. Let's keep going with the T-Rexes. I say we do. Clear all. I say we do. T-Rexes, obviously. I wish they could somehow modify the game to place the thing that you're selecting in the area that you can view on the map instead of the default over here in the water. I don't know if that can actually be added in. It might be borderline impossible, I don't know. But it would be nice if it could be added in. So you'd have to keep scrolling up to the water. Okay, so 
Let's do 250 T-Rexes, that's fine. I might modify... No. Not that. Fancy. Ox and giant ogres. I want to see uh, giant ogres mainly, is what I want to see. Actually, yeah, let's just put giant ogres. Uh, I'll up the giant ogres to 500. It's like two battles of the giants. I still want them to have in, like King Kong. That'd be good, because you could technically have like a Godzilla King Kong fight. But let's see. Whoa, that's, oh, that's 5,000. <laughs> that's why it's so big. Okay. So it's kind of like a battle of the giants here. T-Rexes are massive and then giant ogres. Although I don't know why I just don't call them trolls because they look more like trolls to me from Lord of the Rings. Let's see how this goes. Bear in mind there are 500 giant ogres, but it just depends on how much damage they can lay into the 250 T-Rexes. And I'm fine with this camera now, since you can actually click and get out of it without having to jump into the battle first, then click. My mouse st still goes outside the screen. Okay, so... About the same size, really. I think the T-Rexes are a little bit taller. But look at them, look at their ugly faces, but they've got some cool weapons. Okay, let's see how this goes. Charge! <laughs> they don't run either, they just kind of walk. So they have the same size, they just like Battles of the Giants. I don't even think the ogres would be able to ride them. Okay, the ogres are getting massacred. Even still, the kangaroos fed better than this. <laughs> oh, they killed one T Rex, just one. <laughs> Two. Ah, no, they're not going to do it. If they kill more than ten, they did better than. The animals, the other animals did. I think they're going to kill more than 10. Yep, there you go. Okay. So they're doing better than those other animals did. But they're still not strong enough. You really think they could just smack their heads in with that mace or stab them with that claw thing that they've got. But no. <laughs> Smash their brains in! Oh, no, he's dead. Come on, you'd think it would hurt a lot to get hit by that mace, but... Nope. And... I didn't realise there was still some over here. I was about to say, and they're dead. But, and now they're dead. So they killed nearly double the animals killed. These T-Rexes are so strong. Okay. Anything else? What can I add to the giant ogres? I wish there was a way you could in the customize in the customize um, unit customize you could make um, units bigger. You could adjust the size of the units. So there's like Maybe shrink of the units to make the T-Rexes smaller, so it's like having a base unit size of 1, then you can do like 0.5, and it'll be half the size, or you can do to 2 and double the size. I don't know how that would really affect um, the stability of the game, but I'm going to make another unit. I'm going to make rock throwers. So instead of this, throwing, instead of this mace here, imagine that they're throwing rocks. And they're throwing catapults. Rocks. And... Uh, oh crap. Uh, what, oh, no, they're staying here. What damage do catapults do with their rocks? 
Where the hell's the catapult? I just went past it, didn't I? It's there. They do 300 damage. Okay. Wait, that's pretty much 200 health, 300 damage. 2,000 health. Okay. So ranged, catapult rock, 300 damage. Oh crap, I forgot to look about the... Attack range, 100. Ranged. God damn it. Come on. A hundred. Damage. Three hundred. Ogre. Rock. Thrower. Safe. Okay, that should be the same. Uh, what accuracy do they have? They have 90 accuracy. Okay. So, they're essentially walking catapults with a lot of health. It's much better than these actual catapults, which are kind of there. Okay, so let's... Oh, I should just click battle. I keep doing that. Okay, so... Uh, custom... Killer Rude Dwarf of Pulse. Ogre Rock Thrower. They're also going to be on Team 2. And there's also going to be 500 of them. And they're going to be right behind... They're Mace Swinging Brothers. Okay. Let's go. I was thinking of Ogre. Also, I'm thinking of Shrek. It's like... Oh my god, that is. It's like... Put some wings on a T-Rex and it turns into a dragon, make it breathe fire. And then the Ogre's a Shrek. <laughs> It's Shrek all over again. Why does Shrek have to appear everywhere? So cinematic. Loading in the units. Okay, mouse out of the screen. Never used to do that before until they uh, added in the camera. Okay, so these dudes, just forget they have these maces. Think of them as throwing rocks. And they act just like catapults. There they go. See, look, it's like the throwing rocks. That's so cool. Let's make. Let's look at the idea I said before in another video. It's like making rock slingers. Okay, they've already killed si uh, six. Yeah. This, they're losing a lot, but the front troops, but they're, they're killing a lot of the T-Rexes pretty quickly with the rock throwers. I don't think the T-Rexes will be able to fight through and get to the rock throwers before being killed. Oh my god. The ogres might actually win this. Shrek might actually win this. Shrek and his pals. Why they really had catapults in Lord of the Rings on the Sauron side? Because they could have just had a lot of rocks and just had the trolls and the ogres or whatever they had to throw them. Really, instead they just had them load up the catapults. And I get that, like, they'll obviously throw further than the trolls, but even still, just having trolls throwing the rocks would also be a valid tactic. Also makes me think of that my favourite troll from The Hobbit who had the, the bat ring ram thing on his head and he smashed it into the wall and broke it and he knocked himself out. That was a cool idea. Whoever came up with that idea to add it to the film, that was a cool idea. These T-Rexes are getting rinsed. They haven't even killed all of them. The foot soldier, the melee ogres, and they're almost all dead. Maybe even some melee ogres might survive. No, 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 definitely not. And now they're going to do a death charge over to the rock throwers and just die along the way. Oh, that's so sad. Oh. Oh, he's actually made it over there. How much health is this guy? Oh, he's dead. 
that, he actually made it over there. He actually was putting some hurt onto these ones here, but... God. Damn. Okay. So now we know. Rock throwers, catapults and that. Pretty good. They didn't even lose any number of the rock throwers. Just, uh... Damn. Wait, enemies killed. Giant ogres, enemies killed. 155. What? How did the giant... Oh, okay, that's confusing. There's, there was a thousand ogres, 500 rock throwers, 500 melee ones. There should have been 250 T-Rexes, so why has there only been 155 killed by the giant ogre team? What? That's confusing. That's confusing. What? I, I, I'm confused. Yeah, it's 250. Okay, that's weird. That's confusing. I don't know. That's weird. Who could we actually have fighting alongside the T-Rex? We need lizard men. That's what we need. We need lizard men. <laughs> um... Uh, I could have maybe orcs pretending to be lizard men. It'd be good as well for the T Rex if you could have both ranged and melee and have it have a mount on its back. Make a mounted T Rex unit that also does melee and has range and has like an archer on the back, like the mummer kill. The elephants, and the olifants, sorry, the Lord of Rings. Who could they have fighting alongside them? Medieval, heavy knight, archer, catapult, cavalry. What's happened to the sound? The lost sound happening, but it's gone. Uh, World War II soldiers? No. All I could think of was maybe having foot soldier orcs to fight alongside them. Maybe make. Oops. Uh. Well, yeah, actually. One thousand foot soldier orcs. Or maybe two thousand. Let's do two thousand foot soldier orcs. Um, that's not a great size. One, no. Uh, three. That's a good size. So just pretend the orcs are lizard men. <laughs> pretend their green skin, gr green skin, green skin is um, scales. So now we have the giant beasts of T Rex, the lizard men, two thousand of them, five hundred melee ogres, and five hundred rock throwing ogres. See how this battle turns out. It's gonna. It might be pretty much the same. We'll have to see. And then I have a special ending in mind for this video. Something that I didn't think of before. And I've not seen another YouTuber who's played this game done either. Which I... Surprised I didn't think of it. Okay, those are the... Outside the screen. Okay, here are the lizard men. They're not exactly green skinned, but pretend they're lizard men and they're lizard overlords. T Rexes. Then once again, we have the ogres over here melee and rock throwers. Begin! And the T Rex is just gonna try and trample through the foot guys. Attack! I think we should have put him more. Look at them! Oh! Make, make way! Let us through! Oh. Okay, so a lot of the ogres are dying. What the heck? 
make some of the rock throwers and move forward to get a better shot on them. The Rex is in the back. We've got a bunch of clump support, uh, Blizzard men, sorry, over here. Hello. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> All they've got to do is push through this first horde of giant ogres and then they can start laying into the rock throwers. That's the main thing that's blocking them. I think most of the orcs... Uh, lizard men, sorry, I keep forgetting, are going to die. They've almost killed all the foot guys and there's still a lot of T-Rexes left. It's just... The, oh, there we go. The rock throwers can throw pretty quickly. I think they can throw faster than normal catapults can fire their stuff. They've still got some lizard men left over just running around underneath the T-Rexes. Just the T-Rexes, all they've got to do is just try and get into this mess of rock throwers and they could potentially win but they're just not getting close at the moment because of the people the rock throwers who have moved forward and distracting them but there's still some lizard men orcs running around look at them they're down there they can't believe they still survived okay they're getting close but they're still getting pelted with rocks I still don't think the T-Rex is going to win. Look at, the, look at them. We're trying to get close. <laughs> look at this guy, he's getting close. Oh, no, he's dead. <laughs> They're being distractions of the, the smaller orc lizard men. Ah, no, the T-Rex is not going to win still. They, they, they did a lot better because the Orc lizard men acted as distractions to the rock throwers. So a lot of the rocks were going at the orc lizard men instead of at the T Rex, which gave the T Rex time to move forward and take out a lot of the melee ogres quickly. And then also allowed them to get over to here quickly. But now they're just getting massacred. I don't think there's. Oh, well, there, there are a few. There's stuck at them behind. But they're down there. So behind the T Rexes. But. Yeah. All those ones are dead over there. Now these rocks are being thrown over here. Yeah, the team, the, the lizards are screwed. The team lizard is screwed. And they did a lot better this time, though. They actually killed more. There was only 311 ogres left. Damn. Okay, they did a lot better that time. Okay, now to end the video off, I've got a very special idea. Let's see if I can do it. Load in, thank you. Clear all. Probably didn't really need to do that. Uh, Annals, T Rex. Ten thousand T Rexes, T Rexicles. God damn, you can't really drag it over there. And let's see how this goes. Ten thousand T Rexicles. Not fighting anyone. I'm just having them in there because I'm gonna do something. And now we're gonna wait a while for them all to load in. Probably gonna lag me to hell. Oh, they're in. Oh, look at them all. Okay, I can actually. Wow. Okay, that. Okay, the FPS is dropping a little bit when I look over here, but look at them all. Okay, so. Give me a second. I'll just, uh. They got no one to fight, so they'll just stand around, but like... Hey, Jerry! Do you see that big thing in the sky? What big thing? That big glowing thing! You mean the sun? No! The sun's over there! I mean that glowing thing over there! 
Oh, yeah, what is that? Hey, Hank, do you see that? Oh, yeah, I see that. Hey, Terry, do you see that? Oh, yeah, I see that. Hey, guys, do you all see that big, massive, glowing, fiery thing up in the sky? Oh, my God! Ah, we're all for your lives! Oh, no! We're all gonna die! It's an extinction event! It's an extinction event! Oh my god! We don't even know what extinction is because we're just dinosaurs! Oh my god! It won't stop! We're all gonna die! Oh no, there's loads going off! Oh no! We can't survive! We're all gonna die in this world! Oh! Last ones that are alive. Are they over there? Is it them? Oh my god, I can't find out where the last ones alive are. <laughs> where are they? Where are they? Oh, they're over there. Well, oh, guys, I think we, I think we, I think we're gonna make it. Ah, no. Nope. <laughs> okay, so that's the idea that I had. It's like dropping nukes. It's like the meteor hitting them all. Look at them all, all dead. All lined up, dead. Poor guys. So, that was some more Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. Playing around with the T-Rex some more. Can't wait for this game to be updated again with more units. And the guy mentioned, the creator mentioned also about new maps. Or at least one new map, he said. He just had, he just said like, if you're looking forward to like, more maps and stuff. So, we'll have to see. So, ah, oh, look at them all. <laughs> so, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Good. Bye.